Hey there, fans of classic horror. Today, let's delve into a remarkable film from 1978 that has captivated audiences for decades. Directed by Richard Attenborough, this psychological thriller stars Anthony Hopkins in a gripping role as a troubled ventriloquist. What makes this movie a timeless favorite? Let's explore some interesting facts that add depth to the story. Share your first impressions of the film and how it made you feel. Did it send shivers down your spine or make you rethink your thoughts on ventriloquism? We're eager to hear your thoughts. As we unravel the mysteries of this memorable film, consider what elements contribute to its enduring popularity. Is it the suspenseful plot, the unexpected turns, or something else altogether? Share your insights and join the conversation. Do you have any memorable experiences tied to this movie? Perhaps moments that still give you goosebumps? Don't hesitate to share your anecdotes in the comments below. Get ready for an emotional roller coaster as we delve into the depths of this captivating story. From moments of humor to shocking revelations and poignant scenes, it's all here waiting to be explored. Under the bright lights and in front of strangers, performing can be incredibly stressful. It's like walking a tightrope between success and disaster. This story dives into the struggles of a magician who finds fame with the help of an unexpected companion. Initially unsure of himself, he transforms his act with the introduction of a charismatic dummy. But as his popularity grows, so does the turmoil within him. Directed by a renowned filmmaker and brought to life by a talented cast, the movie explores the thin line between success and madness. As the protagonist's mental state unravels, those around him are drawn into the chaos. It's a tale of love, ambition, and the darkness that lies beneath the surface. Despite its moments of humor, the film offers a chilling glimpse into the human psyche. It's a psychological thriller that will keep you on the edge of your seat until the very end. Considered by Mike Nichols for direction, the 1978 film went through an interesting casting journey. Original director Norman Jewison aimed for an unknown ventriloquist as the lead, finding Jay Johnson through a meeting facilitated by Johnson's manager, Richard O'Link. Convinced of Johnson's talent after witnessing his act at the Horn in Hollywood, Jewison presented him as the ideal choice to the studio. Despite Jewison's recommendation, the studio opted for a high-profile actor, Jack Nicholson. Nicholson's unavailability led to Jay Johnson being cast as a cab driver and serving as a ventriloquism coach for the film's eventual star. Contrary to a documentary claim, Nicholson's departure wasn't due to reluctance about wearing a toupee. With Nicholson taking a three-month hiatus from acting, Jewison moved on to his next project. Notably, it was the penultimate film appearance of Lillian Randolph who portrayed Sadie in the movie. Intriguingly shaped by casting decisions and behind-the-scenes dynamics, the movie stands as a unique chapter in film history, showcasing the unexpected twists in the process of bringing a story to life. In preparation for his role, Anthony Hopkins learned magic tricks and studied ventriloquism, mastering the techniques of voice projection and dummy manipulation. Norman Jewison initially sought Jack Nicholson for the lead, but was declined due to Nicholson's aversion to wearing a hairpiece. A documentary named Magic Fats and Friends offered insights into the movie's production, released alongside the DVD in 2006. In the story of the 1978 movie, Merlin had a bigger part than shown in the film. The book explains how Merlin and Corky met and tells about Merlin teaching Corky card tricks. Comparing it to the 1945 film Dead of Night, People often say our movie is similar to the old one, but unlike the 1977 TV version of Dead of Night, our movie has a ventriloquist and his dummy, which is unique. There was a big fuss about the first trailer of our movie because it featured Fats, the dummy. Parents got scared because Fats talks in the trailer and says creepy things like we're dead. The trailer was taken off TV because people thought it was too scary. The trailer has a voice talking about the actors and saying the movie is for adults only. Fats the dummy does a little move at the end, which sticks in people's minds. In the tough world of entertainment, Agent Ben Green, played by Burgess Meredith, faced challenges fearlessly. He dealt with difficult people like Tyler LeBanket and survived the decline of vaudeville, showing his strong resilience. In movies, Anthony Hopkins worked often with director Richard Attenborough. They teamed up for Young Winston in A Bridge Too Far Before Magic. This movie marked their third collaboration, showing how well they worked together. Screenwriter William Goldman praised the cast of Magic in his book Five Screenplays. He especially liked Burgess Meredith's acting and Anthony Hopkins' performance. He also gave credit to Anne Margaret, calling her Miss Olsen, and saying she was good at expressing emotions, which many people didn't notice. In the story of Magic, Burgess Meredith's bravery, Anthony Hopkins' frequent work with Richard Attenborough, 
and Anne Margaret's talent for showing emotions that often went unnoticed make the movie's dynamics interesting. In the late 1970s, there was a movie that really scared Rosie O'Donnell when she was a kid. She talked about it on her TV show in the 1990s. The movie was directed by Richard Attenborough, who also directed A Bridge Too Far in Gandhi. The story is about a guy named Ben Green, who's a talent agent in showbiz. People call him the postman because he always gets things done. Rosie O'Donnell's memory and Ben Green's nickname add interesting layers to the movie. It shows how the movie affected people and how different parts of the story fit together. It's cool to see a director like Attenborough switch from big historical movies to a psychological thriller. Magic is a movie that sticks with you. It scares you and makes you curious and you don't forget it easily. It shows how powerful movies can be. In a captivating movie, audiences are left puzzled by the mysterious character of Fats, Magic's ventriloquist dummy. There are different ideas about Fats, like maybe he has a split personality or he's possessed. The movie sets were kept secret during filming to keep the story surprises hidden until the end. R.L. Stein, who created Goosebumps, got the idea for the mischievous Slappy from Fats. They look alike and even sound similar, which influenced Stein's writing. As the story unfolds, Fats becomes a mysterious figure, blurring the lines between normal and supernatural. The movie takes unexpected twists, making viewers wonder about Fats' true nature. On the movie set, people whispered about Fats, adding to the suspense for the big reveal. The secrecy during filming shows how serious the creators were about keeping the surprises secret. In the movie story, Fats is an important character, adding uncertainty that keeps viewers interested until the end. The connection between Fats and Slappy adds depth to Stein's storytelling. After the movie ends, questions about Fats linger, showing how powerful storytelling can be. Principal photography for the movie commenced in January 1978 with a budget of $10 M, as reported by Daily Variety in April of that year. During filming, tensions arose between Anthony Hopkins and Anne Margaret, with Hopkins later expressing in the Toronto Globe and Mail that he would not collaborate with her again. Among Richard Attenborough's nine directed films, this movie and A Chorus Line are the only two not featuring his brother-in-law Gerald Sim. The movie utilized the tagline, A Terrifying Love Story. In the world of entertainment, pivotal moments can often arise unexpectedly, setting the stage for groundbreaking collaborations and creative endeavors. Such was the case when a visionary producer secured the rights to a novel for a significant sum, kickstarting a cinematic journey that would defy expectations. This venture not only marked a departure for a renowned director, but also showcased his willingness to explore new storytelling avenues. Teaming up with a talented actor, they embarked on a project that would push the boundaries of their craft. In this movie, the actor delivered a remarkable performance, demonstrating his ability to inhabit diverse roles with ease. The director, too, showed his adaptability, steering away from his usual style to create something truly unique. Their collaboration resulted in a film that captivated audiences and highlighted the depth of their artistic talents. It wasn't just about the plot, it was about the chemistry between the director and the actor and the magic they created together on screen. Looking back, it's clear that the acquisition of the novel was a turning point, setting in motion a creative journey that left a lasting impression on the industry. This project wasn't just a film, it was a testament to the power of collaboration and the endless possibilities of storytelling and cinema.